Welcome to Hotline 21. I'm your host, Bruce Jackson. And today at the Gift House, we have a great guest. And uh, we're going to be discussing some great things about theater. Yes, absolutely. And writing. Yeah. And, um, and I'm going to introduce my guest to you. Gary, my name, Jerry. Jerry, yeah, I'm that's sorry. okay. She Jerry is always Nick Hudson. Hudson. My name is Jerry Hudson. Okay, and it's a great, it's a great pleasure to have you here. Oh, it's a great pleasure to be here. And Miss uh, uh, Hudson, you have you have a video, yes, for us, right? Yeah, and um, we're gonna take a look at that. Okay. And you want me to introduce it? Kind of well, tell people a little bit. Yeah, tell us what it's what uh, we're looking at. The video will be of the writing group, or short video of some of the activities we did last night with some of the ladies that we have, where we t ask people, why is it that they write? Oh, okay. So we'll take a look at that. Okay. I'm gonna hit play. All right. It's going to start. It'll start. The sound will start. Okay. Let it stop. The sound is... I think it's going to start in just a second, right? I don't know. Let's say it should start now. Oh, wow. I don't know how that happened. I don't know where the sound is. There's no sound. No. Okay, well. Yeah, well, there's nothing we can do about that. Okay. Okay, so we didn't have any sound there. No, and, and it was there just a little bit ago, so I don't know what happened between... Exactly. Call Facebook and find out where the sound went for the video. Okay, well, <laughs> tell us what was the well, reasons why they, they decided to write. Oh, my God. So, Bruce, they had some incredible answers uh, from... Uh, Naira was saying that she wanted her relatives to know who she was or her grandchildren and her great-grandchildren to be introduced to her by her writing and so that they would know her. And another woman, Cheryl, said she writes to stop the racing in her head. I mean, we thought that that was powerful. And, you know, writing in order to avoid stress and as a coping mechanism. And the most powerful thing that most of the women shared that come out to the writing group each uh, week is that writing for them has introduced them to a part of themselves that they did not know. So when you write, you, uh, you go in your imagination, but when you write it, you actually get to experience that imagination on a different level. So uh, that was really a great uh, experiment or a, gr a great uh, introduction to the writing group. Okay, great. Mm -hmm. Now, how long have you been doing the writing group? Well, I have been doing the writing group now for four years. This is our fourth year, and it's getting more successful every single year. Wow, wow. Okay, I'm going to continue having this discussion, but first... I'm going to put this up. For those of you who want to get tested for HIV and STDs, the gift house is located at 1309 South Ketty Avenue. And if you'd like to give us a call, please do 773-522-2420. Or you can send us an email. A lot of you like to write. And so you can send us an email <laughs> at thegifthouse at sbcglobal.net. Or check us out on the web www.thegifthouse.org. And we're back talking to 
Miss Hudson about about the writing uh, uh, program. writing program. Yeah. Okay. And you've been doing it for four years. I've been doing it for four years, and the reason why we continue to do it is that people reinvent themselves every single year and learn something about themselves they didn't know. Wow. Now let me ask this: when when they stop writing, uh, what is we know they're going to start out in the genesis of writing, but what is the end game with the writing? What do they great, do with the writing? Great, great point. So our end game is for us to be collaborative writers. We intend to develop our own web series this year. Uh, so we write individually. We have all, most of us have been writing for years individually, but mm -hmm. now we are coming together and we're doing collective stories and okay. collaborations and doing those stories will be presented for publication. We just got finished with a series or we're still working on a train story series. And we also have another initiative where we write stories and we send those stories into Illinois prisons Mm -hmm. And we have had a resounding success, actually, with that program. I was about to ask you, how, was, <laughs> how successful was that program? It's phenomenal. Uh, men who certainly, people, very often what happens with us, and, and if you were to join us, Bruce, Bruce you'd find the writer in yourself. You, mm -hmm. you don't know that you write until you get around really creative people and see how easily they produce Therefore, you find out how easily well, you can produce. I'm a, I'm a grant writer. Okay, so right. So I'm, 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 yeah. I know how the, the experience yeah. of writing and how fulfilling it could be. Right. So it, just for not necessarily for mm -hmm. you, but for the audience, people who don't think of themselves as writers mm -hmm. can come in, and they don't need to bring anything with them. All they need to do is come in and bring themselves. Mm -hmm. Okay. And they will. You will find, as you know already, that how creative you are when you get around creative people. How easily things come to you. And so what happened with the prison program is they would read our stories and then they start to write their own stories. Of course, that's what happened. And they reading comprehension and we found out a lot about what was needed in mm -hmm. that program. Yeah. Now, uh, what, you know, sometimes people write and they have trouble with punctuation and spelling and that kind of thing. Um, how is that dealt with? All right, that's a great question. And for the people who are thinking about coming out to our group, uh, can we give the address? Oh, sure, okay. sure. Okay, we're at 6250 South Harper Avenue, and we are downstairs, and actually it's located right behind Hyde Park High School. If you go to Hyde Park High School, go behind it, you're going to find us there. We're on the ground floor. We have parking lots on both sides, so we, we have a great location. We moved there about two years ago, and it's been a phenomenal success over there. We are there Mondays at 7 p.m. Uh, please feel free to come out and join us. Uh, so punctuation and all of that. So we have definitely, we're going to get to that, but it is important for writers and even as, as we teach children about the vomit. Mm -hmm. When you're writing, don't worry about that. Mm -hmm. Just write. Right. Just put down words. Write your characters first. Write your ideas first. Write the subject first. Write adjectives mm -hmm. and then bring it all together but don't edit yourself before the story is told and so that's like you said you know people are so concerned oh I don't know if I can write you know I don't I, I don't know if my consonants and vowels are correct don't right. worry about that and and I encourage so the, the verb agreement yeah I'm the, right <laughs> let, let that go let that go <laughs> vomit enjoy what we call the writing vomit Enjoy the vomit and see just how good you hear. Just just write it. Just get it just, all out. Just write it and don't worry about how it sounds at first. Well, that's a phenomenal approach. Okay. And, and oftentimes when you're writing, you're doing first, second, third, and fourth, and fifth drafts. Hello. The great yeah. writers do that. Yeah. Everybody, you gotta let it cool. You, that's right, and you, Come back it, to and me. then you got that, absolutely. You gotta give it some days. You gotta give it some time. Do I like it in a week? Mm -hmm. Do I like it in a month? That's really the testament of writing. Yeah. You might not like it at first, 
And then sometimes you say, oh, man, I, I mean, as a matter of fact, I was reading something I wrote 25 years ago, and I was profoundly impacted by how on point I was, and I was even more profoundly impacted, Bruce, that somebody had took the idea I had and ran with it. Okay. Really? Absolutely. 20 years ago, I wrote this phenomenal piece about, it was about the New York, um, uh, the jogger incident where those men were found to be innocent. Ah, uh, the, the ones that Trump Yes, that's the ones. You know. Yes, uh, Bruce. To and the I, guillotine. Yes, exactly, yeah. exactly. And I remember it was even years ago. It was, you know, it was more than ten years ago that those men were found innocent. Mm -hmm. But they were only telling the story of the jogger. They right. weren't telling the story of the men. And it's always and so, two sides to a point. Hey, and I wanted to hear their story, especially since they didn't do anything. Mm -hmm. I wanted to know how their lives had been impacted because of that accusation. And I wrote about that 20 years ago. Because they were tried and convicted in the, the media. You hear me? And so yeah. I wanted to, I thought back then, Bruce, that a documentary about that would be powerful. Of course. And guess what? It's out there now. Somebody did it. Wow. Well, you know, it's, you know, it's, 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 uh, it's yeah. been said That's right. that, that we are all connected in a way, and especially with writers, if you have an ideal yes, right. and you begin to think it, you put it out there, that it, out there in the energy, and 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 when that happens, if someone is thinking, mm. that would come to them. You you hear me? So, cause I was sharing it, mm. you know, but I didn't move. I didn't get the camera right. there. I right. didn't try to contact the man, cause I'm telling you. And I wrote. I said, look at this. Twenty years ago, you had this idea. But anyway, there you know, yeah. there's there are plenty of ideas. There's a lot of today. inventions that happen that way. Somebody have an invention. Yeah. And they don't do nothing with it. The next thing they're looking, say, wait a minute, that was my invention. Exactly. I never even met the person, <laughs> but they're doing the invention. Exactly. Wow. So yeah, so that that is uh, how we write, and so. You know, now the people that have been writing for years have, have a space to come together and to recreate mm -hmm. and see it go somewhere. Yes. Now, uh, do your writings ever turn into plays? Oh, absolutely, you know. Uh, and so, yeah, we have a phenomenal writer that you have had on your show, uh, Beatrice Watson. Oh, she yeah, and I she were. Is. She, yes. She, Beatrice, I just love her. Oh, I love Beatrice. Yeah, As a matter of fact, the else. building that we are in, she's the reason why we're there at 6250 nice, South Harper. Nice. Yeah, so that is, uh, she, yeah. she brought that to us. She's a true spirit. Yes, she is. Yeah. And she wrote, what happened is she writes and many of our writers be, be performing her plays and we have one coming up uh in february rehearsals and all of that thing is coming nice. up so if people want to act we have that open to them mm -hmm. writing open poetry open uh we have an event on september 23rd mm -hmm. that where people will be reading their creative writing so it's not everything it goes from the paper to the stage or to the podium wherever you want to take it bruce well, you know, I, I have to tell you this. Looking at what the violence that we have, um, and a lot of with the the the, the elected official that we have in the Oval Office, mm. who kind of incites a, uh, yeah. that old violence of, mm. of uh, nationalism. Mm. Uh, that's that's you know making it raise his ugly head. Uh, to have a program like this, a writing program, it helps people to, it, it helps them with health because I think the, the last count just in Texas, it was, and, and uh, Ohio, it was something like over, over 22 people. Absolutely. You know, and then we have our own violence, black on black crime. That's right. Uh, well, and that's going to be, yeah. that's always going to be because people always usually harm the people closest to them. That's mm -hmm. a fact of all races, so yeah. that's just a sad fact. And and to have a writing program, absolutely. because it's really a venting. When they're harming someone, it's they're venting. That's absolutely right. That's absolutely it right. Speaks to the vomiting. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead and just, just, just regurgitate it. That's absolutely. So many of our writers, Bruce, just what you're talking about, talking about, we have a lot. We're not exclusively a senior program, but we have a lot of seniors, as the video kind of showed. But seniors are saying to me things like, I didn't know that I was this person. I didn't know how to get out the things that were in me. 
using the pen and the paper, mm -hmm. you know, the, the rod and the staff. You know, Jesus talked about it. You, I, 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 I do most of all my fighting, I've only done it on paper. Mm -hmm. Because paper is a more powerful weapon than bricks and stones and bullets will ever be. Well, I think the old adage goes, the pen is much mightier than the sword. That's what I find. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I've made a lot of friends, and I've made people that are not my friends because of the power of writing. Mm -hmm. You know, so like you said, it does for your health. I mean, it is an incredible rush to your wellness when you create something that's beautiful. Uh, well, let me ask this. Mm -hmm. I know you went into the prisons. Mm -hmm. and this is just a thought, and I thought I'd just put it out oh, there. Oh, put it out there, Bruce. I'm, we're open. Okay. Um, what about people who are dealing with health situations uh, like cancer, uh, uh, transplant situations where they need a, may need a kidney. Is there any way that you can kind of reach out to them and let them? I love I love the fact that you brought it up. Uh, as a matter of fact, one of our writers, Shawanda Harley, and we have we talked about two weeks ago. She has a natural. She's obsessed with natural healing. Ah. <laughs> and so she has a sound, Reiki, and she, Ray, we talk about Reiki, that's a way of healing. Sound is a way of healing. Mm -hmm. Writing is a way of healing. Ways to tap into what you're now talking about is the inner source yeah. of wellness and how you create wellness in yourself. And you're absolutely right. Writing is a way to do that. And you're right, that needs to be a group that I focus in on. We need to do more work with seniors, uh, with people that are in crisis. Yeah. That's what you're talking about. And because a lot of times they're thinking about their health and they're thinking about their life. And to have a, a, a an exit where they can just turn to just a notebook. That's absolutely right. And just pour it all in there. Absolutely. You do your best writing. Um, I was sick uh, in 1995, again. That's when I wrote the, some of my best work. Mm -hmm. And we found a woman said, it's, it's a way to channel your anger, anger yeah. uh, your, heart, your hurt. And then you get to go somewhere else. Yeah, and then you get to also kind of step back and look at what was bothering you. It's right there in front of your face now. Uh-oh. Yeah. You actually live the dynamics. Yeah. You know, so I just thought I'd put it out there. Oh, yeah. It, and, it's a great idea. Yeah. I know that you yourself have has dealt, you've dealt with some health challenges. Right, and, and, and I've dealt with some health challenges, and I found myself in my solitude just being, um, I think the correct semantic would be hunted by it. Mm. And thinking about uh, mm. my loved ones and what the future would um, hold for me. Wow. And so uh, oftentimes, you know, you're your, you're your worst critic. Come on now. And uh, you're thinking about that. And I found that it, it, I wasn't just, it wasn't just me. It was everyone who were dealing with the same crises that I was faced with. They had the same dilemma. So you found that other patients like you were experiencing the same kind of mental space. Yeah. They were in the same kind of head space. Absolutely. Absolutely. And you can go either way. You right. You can so go off the deep end. That's absolutely. Can, that's can, right. It's right there. It's, 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 it's right. There's no there's no middle ground, you know. So you have to make a choice. That's and, uh oh. Th yeah. There you are. The big yeah. C word. That's right. You got to make that choice. And so, like you said, so you're thinking about writing as a vehicle to drive you in the right direction. Yeah. Yeah. And, and you, and when you're writing, when you're writing, you don't, you don't know where is the demarcation, where's the limit, because you just start pouring it all out. Oh my God. You know, you just pouring it all out. Yeah. And then when you decide to stop, it's almost a respite and therapy because it's, it's all laid out. Exactly, and as you say, and thinking about seeing it, and so that, you know, the mind is one dimension, mm -hmm. and the paper is the second dimension. Yeah. See what I'm saying? So now it's already 
two dimensions. Yeah, and then it's a third one. There's because, a spiritual dimension. Come on now. That's so out that's, of you. Come on now. That's your, oh, oh, so you said second and third. Yeah. So right in it, that's right. So it goes three dimensional. Exactly. And so now you take the play is the fourth dimension. Mm -hmm. and, the, and bring in here places like here is the fifth dimension. Exactly. So like you said, you know, so you're right. I mean, that is really powerful. And that's what our people experience when they come over. That's why so many people who don't even know that they can do it, Bruce, mm -hmm. come to one meeting are changed mm -hmm. completely yeah. after it's like a therapy session of course it is okay of, cor of course it is, <laughs> it is. you know so it, it just it, and that's why I, mm. I really wanted to talk with you because i think what you're doing is phenomenal well thank you you know heck i love know, it heck heads off to you okay and so well i have another thing that's another exciting thing to okay. tell our listeners tell about us. so uh, last year we had our very first writing contest. It's called Write for Freedom. And listeners, we need at least 50 writers for Write for Freedom, and we need you to apply by August 30th. Okay? And so, we, like I said, we need a lot of writers for that. So feel free to give us a call. We can have you guys give us a call. Write for Freedom is a writing contest that we started last year. It was a phenomenal success. We are the Hyde Park Writers Group. You can find our last year's contest out online and some information about this contest. We're going to have it over at St. Paul in the Redeemer Church in Hyde Park. Hopefully Bruce is going to come out and shoot the whole thing. Mm -hmm. That's at 4945 South Dorchester. And it's going to be October 11th, and we're going to be starting, that's Friday night, 5 o'clock to 8 o'clock. That's the preliminary. Okay. And the, then the actual final will be the next day, Saturday, October 12th. That's the, we're not calling it Columbus Day because Columbus didn't discover anything. I think they had, they're, even, they're putting another name out there, but it's that weekend. Right. It's that holiday okay. weekend. So that people, our, our listeners can you, remember that. You, but You're right, he didn't discover anything. Did, people are already here. <laughs> You, how you discover? <laughs> how can you discover something? How can I discover this table, right. for instance? Okay, yeah, <laughs> somebody okay, sitting there. there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at my discovery! I discovered a table, Bruce. Right. Look. But so that's, <laughs> gonna be, that's gonna be August thirtieth. No, it's gonna be October. Uh, October, oh, yeah. Oh, October. October. No, October is gonna be the last day for writers to okay, get October. involved. Is it, right? But it's gonna be October the eleventh and twelfth over at St. Paul and the Redeemer Church, mm -hmm. and that's in High Park. We okay. have a parking lot. Because High Park can be a hard place to park, so mm -hmm. we do have a parking lot over there. Okay, great. But it's a two-day event. It's a writing contest, and so the details, they need to get in touch with us or show up next week. Next week, we'll be over at 6250 South Harbor. Okay. At 7 o'clock, and so they can find out how to get involved with a contest or just come to some meetings. And 6250 South Harper is where you host a writing program. Right, that's where we host our weekly program, what we call okay. Summer Mondays. Mondays at 7 p.m. At 7 p.m. Okay. Great. Yeah. Great. You've got to join us one week, Bruce. I'm going to, you know, I'm listening to what you're doing, <laughs> and I've, I've heard about your program. Okay. And I've been telling myself, uh, I, I really got to get out there and write something. Come on. I want to I wanna come out there and see yeah. what you... The next series we're going to do, we're going to do a storm series. So okay. I'm going to open that up for 30 days after next week. So we did the train stories, and it still has some... We still have the openings for train stories. Then we're going to do storm stories. Great, great, great. Okay, I'm going to put this back okay. out. Okay. Uh, and we're going to continue with our discussion. For those of you who want to get tested... Um, 1309 South Kedzie Avenue, and you can give us a call. Um, give us a call at 522-2420. And uh, you can give us an email at the gift house at, S at sbcglobal.net or check us out on the web, www.thegifthouse.org. And we are back, and we're talking to Matusson about the writing program that she hosts at 52, 
50 South Harper. No, 62. Oh, 6250 yeah. South Harper right. Avenue. That's great. And it's on Mondays at 7 p.m. Exactly. Summer Mondays. Summer Mondays. Isn't that a great way to spend the summer? Yeah. Getting... So what about in the winter time? Well, we, 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 do, we just don't meet weekly, but that's a great question. Do we completely stop in the winter? No, because we're still creative. Okay. But we know that most of most of Chicagoans just don't want to come out as much okay. in the winter time. But that's also when Beatrice does her plays. Right. And that's when we're doing a lot of rehearsals for the actual third and fourth dimension. So, so during the summer... We're planning First and during the winter. That's right. Second, we've got a harvest of plays. Come on now. Oh, so that's head work. You got that's how. Yeah. Okay, Mother Nature at work, huh? That's okay. right. That's exactly. Right. <laughs> there you are. Right. That's a great. That's a great idea. Now I'm looking over at something over here. Okay, I'm looking over at something here, um, and this is about your writing program. And yeah. tell us what we're looking at here. I'm going to put it over the overhead. Okay. And then we're going to be uh, wrapping up. So I want you to just go ahead and tell us all about that while we're wrapping up. All right. So this is just the schedule that we have for the remaining uh, groups mm -hmm. going until September the 16th. This is giving you all of our dates, August the 5th, August the 12th, August the 19th. September the 9th and September the 16th, those are our general meeting dates. So that's what that flyer is. It has information about where we are. It has an email there, gghudson at hotmail.com. Give us, uh, send us some information and we'll get right back to you. Okay, great. I want to thank you for coming out. Oh, it, it was, was a wonderful. pleasure. Oh, it was. And until next time, uh, for the viewers out there, stay safe. All right.